Hey guys, this is John. It's now time to get another vlog started here at Blind Nation. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, The Blind Nation One. That is The Blind Nation One. You can also email us, members at theblindcommunity.org. That is members at theblindcommunity.org. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the vlog. What's up guys and welcome back to Blind Nation. Let me double check this real quick because sometimes I hit this button and it doesn't do what it needs to be doing. Or it doesn't start rather. Voice over on. So I just want to make sure. Come on. Okay, we're good. There we go. So uh, anyways, I thought I would uh, share my story. Uh, my experience um, and you know a couple relationships and uh, not really why I blame you know my eyesight as the problem but why I seen it as one of the problems and uh, and not all of it but some of it so I just thought I'd share a couple stories with you so When I got my divorce, um, I got with a girl, and uh, at first it was great. You know, the the first you know, couple months, and basically what happened was after my divorce, me and um, after I got divorced, and I, you know, thought that. You know, well, maybe I've, you know, found that right one. I don't mean like I got divorced and then instantly I was with, you know, someone. You know what I'm saying. So, anyways, um, after the divorce and then after I thought I found that right person, um, we're together for, you know, a couple months. When I started noticing things, um, one was, okay, well... I'll start, we went to my mom's, we stayed with her. No, I take it back, it wasn't my mom, it was my sister. We stayed with my sister for uh, a month. Just until me and her kind of got some other things straightened out or whatever. Well, ended up, she wasn't happy. Um, well, I knew she. I knew we was gonna be going back to where she was from anyway, because she still had, uh, you know, her parents was there. She had another kid that was still there. Um, so we was at my sister's for a month, and I mean, we were like, we were like that, you know. We was everything was great. She had no problem. There was no. At least she never spoke. Of any concern about me being visually impaired that it never bothered her rather okay so I'm gonna get rid of this cigarette I don't know I always feel like when I'm smoking and I'm doing the video with you guys I feel like I'm and I know I'm not but I feel like I'm just like blowing smoke in your face and and I know I'm not so anyway All right, guys. Sorry about that. I, I was standing there talking to you guys, and then all of a sudden, like, I, somebody was standing there, and it was my mom. I didn't know they were even here. Um, anyways, where was I? Okay, so, yeah, me and her, we we went and stayed with my sister for a month, and, you know, everything was, like, everything was like that, you know? I thought everything was good. Uh, we went back to uh, where she lived in Ohio, and... She wanted to stay with her mom for a little bit till we got a place. Right then, about a week into it, things started just going down. Like, I knew things just wasn't, you know, I just knew things wasn't right. And, you know, they would, they would, here I am, I'm in the same house with them. And her and her mom would sit there and they would... Because remember, I've got a little bit of sight. And if the, if the lighting's right, if the environment's right, I can see. It's, I know it's weird, it's hard to explain, but I would see them like 
talking back and forth across the table, making gestures, all this stuff. And I wouldn't say nothing, you know, because I'm in her mom's house and, you know, things just, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say nothing. Um, and then she would have like these, they would have these uh, birthday parties at her mom's and different things. And even on the first, the first big party that they had, um, I was usually sitting by myself why she was roaming around with the rest of her family talking to them not paying no attention to me um and and her mom's boyfriend he's he's got this huge po bar uh that he puts his semis in because he runs his own semi business well at the back of it there's a bar that he built it's got like these uh glass doors double glass doors you go in there and there's a bar with a tv in there a pool table stuff like that you know and so that's where I'd sit most of the time, is back there while everybody else just, you know, roaming around. I mean, I, I never really, there never was a relationship created with me and, and her family. Not, not very much, you know. Um, and I just, you know, knew things wasn't right. I, I knew they wasn't. Uh, and it ended up coming down to, you know, we had split up once. I went and stayed with a friend because she, well, I just need time to think. And then she'd want me to come back. And I went back and she was like, well, you know, uh, I need you here, man. And I, I, I did that. And then, uh, you know, I, I, at the time I was getting the, the monthly income, you know, and that was, that was my only income. And only time she was being really cool about anything with me was when I was getting paid uh, like on Christmas she took uh, both of my checks I remember this I'll never forget it took both checks that I had got and spent it on her kids for Christmas and didn't leave a dollar in my account not even for me to get my own kids anything me I didn't care about I, you know I, I, I done knew that you know, it's, it's just something that I've been used to for a long time. So I wasn't worried about me, but it was the kids, you know. And then uh, I would hear from other people, her complaining about, you know, he can't drive, he can't do this, can't do that. And so uh, it was a hard lesson learned. Um, but all of it might not have been about the vision, about me being visually impaired, but there was... Uh, part of that was the problem. Uh, she could not accept that. She could not accept that that I had this disability. Uh, it, in her eyes, it it was it didn't feel right being with somebody with with a problem like that. She, I mean, we would go in public, and she wouldn't even want to hold my hand. Okay, she would rather me put my hand on her shoulder or on her arm. Uh, not hold hands, not, you know, none of that. Anytime around people, she wouldn't want, she wouldn't want, uh, you know, she wouldn't associate with me hardly at all. Wouldn't hug me, nothing, you know, nothing. Um, and I still had faith in that relationship. We even had got a place together, okay? And I thought things were getting better. She got a job, couldn't find out. Her ex is going to her work, right? She worked at this restaurant. She was a manager or something. And her ex would go there and they would they would chat. And she wasn't telling me nothing about it. Well, the only reason I caught her was because she ended up getting a different phone. <laughs> now, this was the good part. Because I know iPhone real good. I know how to use everything with the iPhone. I, I, I know all the little tricks, the ins and outs, right? She got her a new iPhone. And... What she didn't know was that I knew how to turn on voiceover without having to have someone go in and turn it on for me. You know, because uh, with, with the iPhone, uh, as long as it was, you know, a, uh, like the iPhone 5 or up or I forget what it was, but you could hold down the button and then you could just say, turn on voiceover and it'd turn it on. Well, 
generally I would never go go on her phone, but I had this gut feeling, and and things were really shaky as it was, anyways. And I thought, well, you know, she was always wanting to see mine, so I don't see no harm in me checking her text. Her phone kept going off while she's in the shower. I read the text, guys, and it was like a it was like a knife to the to the chest. Just the things that I seen her saying to that guy, and that guy saying back to her, and I felt completely completely just crushed I mean I was crushed and I honestly honestly loved that girl with with everything in me I, I loved that girl from uh, with, with all my heart you know I I trusted in her I confide in her I I told her things I believed in her I believed in us and when that happened I knew I knew that it wasn't going to work out. And now hold on, because it wasn't over, okay? Uh, I ended up giving her a chance again. This is the third time. Now, that's my own stupidity, I know. But when we got back together, she ended up going back to her mom. So I went back to her mom's with her. Now we're living back at her mom's again. And even as of today, I still love her kids uh, very much. But... You know, that obviously, I'm never going to be able to talk to him or nothing. And, and I get that. But and I think she's getting married. So, yeah, I know. But anyway, back to her mom's. And uh, I forget how long we was there. And Well, anyway, what happened was my aunt got bad off sick. Uh, so... After I'd got me in her vehicle or whatever, she decided, yes, we'll drive. We'll drive down. We'll see your aunt. Stay there for a couple of days. Then I got to come back and go to work because they wouldn't give her uh, personal, personal, you know, days at work because we actually wasn't married or nothing. So, anyways, go down see my aunt. You know, uh, I thought things were good. Actually, I thought things were going back to the way that, you know. I wanted it to be, and that was all an act just for my family, because down in front of my family at the hospital while we was there visiting my aunt, um, an aunt that I love very much, I miss dearly, but um, we stayed there two days, I wanted to stay another day, because my aunt was, she, it was almost her time anyways. Um, Anyway, and I thought things were good. Well, we go back to Ohio. My aunt passes away uh, a day after I'd got back. And I didn't even get to go to her funeral because my girlfriend would not make it happen to get me down to my aunt's funeral. Uh, her family wouldn't help me with money, nothing to get me down there. She wouldn't drive me down there. So... I didn't, you know, I didn't get, and, and that still hurts me a lot, guys, it does, that I didn't get to, you know, see my aunt, but, whew, uh, anyways, I didn't get to see my aunt, um, you know, so, that's, hold on a minute, guys, yeah, huh, uh, hold, hold on, mom, I'm on video, um, well, here. All right, so let me make sure to check this again. Hold on. Voice over on. Landscape. View find. Stop recording. Take picture. Okay. Button. Voice over on. So I had no way down there at all. Okay. Now it's almost over here, guys. Um. And if you guys want to hear the next story about the other the the other relationship, uh, I'll tell you that one too. That one's I don't think it says. Well, neither one of them's good, but you know what I mean. Um. Anyways, so I didn't get to go down, right? So after that, it was a, a couple months later, um, my mom wanted me to come down. And so I, I ended up getting the money together, okay? She didn't want to go. She would not go down there with me. She puts me on a Greyhound bus, just me and my dog and my clothes. I knew something was wrong because when I got on the bus, she was she she started crying. 
So I, I think the crime was a guilt because she knew something more was to this. I get down to see my mom and I was only supposed to have been there for two weeks. Two weeks comes and I said, well, I'm ready to come back. I got no money. Uh, you know, my, uh, I don't got no more money to pay for my room. I can't stay with mom. I had nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, guys. She left me sit. Left me sit with nowhere to go. As a matter of fact, I spent one night outside all night long. And that's when I knew. That's when I knew she did not love me. Because when you love someone, you wouldn't do that. Like I said, I don't blame it all on my eyes or on you know, me having a disability, but I know for a fact that was part of the problem. And I don't see nothing wrong with being with someone with a disability or without. You, you just have to meet in the middle. That's what I think. You gotta meet in the middle and if you love each other, that won't matter. You'll work it out, and you'll 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 make men's meet, and you'll come to to agreements with different things on you know just different things, you know. Um, it's it, it it was it was rough, guys. I when 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 that happened, uh, I I can't count how many nights that I went to sleep crying. Now, I missed out on a part to tell you about, but there was another, before we were completely over, another time I had, uh, no, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, when when I got left with nowhere to go down, down here when I see my mom, uh, I eventually made it back up there and she, said come back up let's just talk about this well, I came back up to Ohio I had a hotel room me and my niece and she wouldn't even stay overnight at the hotel she wouldn't even stay she would not stay she would come say hi stay about 20 minutes and leave or she'd bring and drop off her, her son because he wanted to hang out with me and leave she even let them stay all night why she did not. And I figured out what was happening. She had told her family that we were no longer together. And that's why she wouldn't stay. Because she had to go get back to mommy. At 30 some odd years old, got to get back to mommy. So, if you're ever in a relationship, guys, don't ever, 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 ever let something like that ruin your relationship because of a disability. Okay? Um... So I'm curious, what about you? What stories might you have for me? If you got any stories you'd like to share, I'd love to hear them. Um, just let me know. Uh, unless it's just a story you don't want to share, but I'd love to share your story as well. Um, we can, we can, got, you know, a couple options if you wanted to share it with everybody else or if you just wanted to leave some comments with yours. Whatever you want to do, let me know. And uh, guys, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you want to hear the next story, I, but I got to make this short because I'm getting freaking bit up by bugs back here and it's getting dark and I just wanted to be outside. But let me know what you guys think. And like I said, all of it wasn't because of my eyes, but I do blame about 40% of it. Um, and like I said, because of all that stuff I was going through, I ended up missing seeing my, you know, my aunt's funeral. Uh, that, you know, that still bothers me, but. You know, I, I got to move on. So, uh, and I had another very similar incident happen to me with a girl after that. So, anyways, like, share, subscribe. And I promise I'm not no hoochie dog neither. You know, I'm just looking for that one to, to love me for who I am. That's, that's what I'm looking for. You know, that's what we all want. But, anyways, I love you guys very much. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm getting ate up by mosquitoes.